Genghis Khan, Louis XIV, and Fabio. What did they have in common? Their long hairs. Even George W. signed the Declaration of Independence with hair racing his shoulders. 45 of the 53 framers of the Constitution had long hair. And the ones who didn't wore a wig. So people thought they did. Today, long hair on men is ridiculed, thought unprofessional, even childish. We're grossly discriminated against in employment and general societal regard. How many congressmen have long hair? The armed forces. The practice of law. Space travel. Law enforcement. We are grossly underrepresented in these professional ranks. Irresponsible slacker. Upstanding citizen, I say. It doesn't matter to you, I know. You have long hair for a reason. There's a story beneath those locks. You had the courage to power through the awkward stage, and you've made it this far. But what now? Women grow up brushing and braiding each other's hair at recess. But we don't have that luxury. Now you have a head full of streaming glory, and you don't always know what to do with it. How do I brush my hair properly? How do I style it? What products should I use? What do I do if I have split ends? What are split ends? These questions are mysteries to many of us. We are the long hairs, and we are here to bridge the gap. The long hairs is a sanctuary, a safe haven, a place to congregate, commiserate, and find answers to your questions. We are a global fraternity for men with long hair. We support, advocate, and celebrate. We're letting it ride. So whether you like to party or just brush your hair in the mirror, raise a glass in celebration. Join us.